Lord, hallelujah. Amen. God is good. God is good. And all the time. God is good. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, it is a blessed morning to be in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, I just want to pray as uh, we begin this morning. Let us bow our heads and I will pray. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for your love. Father, we thank you for your guidance. We thank you for the salvation that you have given unto our lives and the knowledge to know that you died for us and the knowledge to know that we are here because of your love not because we deserve it father we pray this morning that you may speak unto our lives that you may speak unto our hearts holy spirit that you may teach us according to the will of god in the mighty name of jesus amen, amen. hallelujah amen. today i just want to conclude on my uh, series about Carrying the cross and sin. Hallelujah. Amen. Last week I was not here, Professor Nyabaza was ministering, but I just want to, uh, this today to conclude on the series that I was teaching about. Hallelujah. I would like to read the Bible from the book of First John chapter 3, verse 4 to 6. If one of us can read First John chapter 3, from verse 4 up to verse 6. The book of First John is towards the end, the very end of the Bible. First John chapter three. First John chapter three. Verses four up to the six. Everyone who sins breaks the law. In fact, sin is a lawlessness. But you know that we are dead, so that we might take away our sins. And in him no sin. No one who lives in him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin is either sin or known him. Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who, who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. Up to So the Bible here is talking about sin. If we have time when we go home, I'd like you to read that whole um, chapter from uh, this, this number one and unto the end of chapter three so that you can um, see the way God was explaining what sin is. Hallelujah. So sin is a violation of the will of God. When we do something which is against the will of God, that is sin. Or it's a, another definition is the transgression of the law. So like the Bible, it said sin is the one who breaks the law. In fact, sin is lawlessness. Hallelujah. Amen. So it means if you do anything that is against the law of God, you have sinned. If you do anything that is against the law of God, you have sinned. We've got um, the Ten Commandments, which is an example of the law of God. So when we do anything that is against the law of God, when that's, it is, that, that is when we sin, hallelujah. Some of the sins we do against God, other sins is we do against people around us. Other sins we do sin for ourselves, hallelujah. So sin can be different kind of sins, hallelujah. I have written here um, just four categories of sin, hallelujah, but it, it does not exhaust everything. Um, number one, there is a sin of attitude. Hallelujah. There is a sin of attitude where we sin because of the attitude that we portray. Examples of the sin of attitude is anger. Anger is an attitude. It's a behavior. Hallelujah. So remember every time that when you are angry, the Bible doesn't say do not get angry, but it says when you are angry, do not go to bed angry. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we get angry because of our, of our emotions, make it a point that you do not go to sleep while you are still angry. Because when you still carry that anger with you and you wake up the next morning, you still have that anger in you, then it grows into something deeper. Hallelujah. And then it can grow into bitterness. Amen. So it means when you are angry for
for more than a day, it means you have not been able to forgive. Because the Bible teaches us to say, forgive, even if it means it's 70 times by 7. Keep on forgiving and keep on forgiving. So there is no room for us to keep anger for more than a day. Hallelujah. Because the Bible commands us to do so. Hallelujah. To forgive. Envy is another act of attitude. When you are envying something that someone has and you wish that it should have been mine, I deserve it better. Hallelujah. When you are envying someone, when you become jealous for someone, those are sins of attitude. Hallelujah. Hatred is also another sin of attitude. If you see all these things, they are something which is culminating from anger to bitterness to envy to hatred. Hallelujah. At the end of the day, if you keep on handling that grudge, you can end up harming that person. Hallelujah. Because the sin in you continues to grow if you give it room to grow. Hallelujah. But if you do not give it room to grow, if you forgive, then it will not grow to hatred and bitterness and envy. Hallelujah. So there is sins of attitude. So each and every time, remember to say that I can sin not because I shouted at someone. Hallelujah. Not because I have not given someone anything. Just with your attitude. Hallelujah. You know within you that I have sinned. You know within yourself I hate this person. I'm envy. It's something that we cannot see that this person is bad. But within yourself you know that if you have hatred, if you have got envy, then you know that it's a sin of attitude. The bad thing about this sin of attitude is no one is seeing you that you've got this attitude. But you know within yourself that I am doing wrong. Hallelujah. So sometimes no one can come to you and say, please stop what you're doing because they cannot see what is in your heart. They cannot see what is in your mind. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Another type of sin is the sin of actions. These are the actions which, you, which we do, but they displease God. God is not happy with those actions. Hallelujah. Amen. So this is uh, an example of sin of, of actions. Is if you get drunk, because the Bible says, do not get drunk with wine. Hallelujah. Adultery, fornication, those are sins of actions. Hallelujah. Something that you are actively doing and you know is wrong. Hallelujah. If you are stealing from someone, if you are, if you are conniving with someone to do wrong, it's a sin of action. Hallelujah. Something that you are actively doing physically. Amen. Amen. Another type of sin is the sin of neglection. This is, can also be a sin of omission. This is when we fail to do something that we must do. Hallelujah. Amen. Sin of neglect. If we fail to give when you are supposed to give, the Bible, there is um, a scripture where it says, do not withhold good if you can do good to someone. If you know that I was supposed to be able to give this person and you did not give, then you have done a sin of neglection, a sin of omission. Amen. Amen. When you see someone is hungry and you know they are in need but you do not do anything about it, when you have capacity to do, then it's a sin of omission. Hallelujah. Amen. You have failed to do what God said you must do. If God said you must be able to share, we must be able to look out for, the, for my neighbor. Hallelujah. I must be able to see if they are in need. Because if you have got capacity, know that it is God who has given you the, that capacity. Maybe you are the one in that position who can be able to help that person. And if you fail to do so, then you have sinned. Hallelujah. You have not shouted at them, you have not been angry at them, but because you have withhold something good from them, then it's a sin. Amen. Amen. So there is many examples of sin of omission. Hallelujah. Amen. Like, if you know that I'm supposed to be going to church and you don't, I'm supposed to be paying my tithe and you don't. Hallelujah. Those are sins. And we are sinning against God. Hallelujah. Most of the time we always think, ah, I'm sinning against um, people, but you're sinning against God. Hallelujah. When you sin against people, yes, they cannot do anything to you, but it is God who sees in their heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Then another group of sin is the sin of intent. Hallelujah. Sin of, it's something that you are intending to do which is wrong. Intending not because you have done it, but you are intending to do. Hallelujah. For example, lust is an example of sin of intent. You are intending to do fornication, intending to do 
people are told you to not do it, but you are thinking about it in your mind. Hallelujah. You are imagining something in your mind to say, I can do it, but you know that it's wrong. Hallelujah. So those are the four groups that I've um, written down of sin. There are many examples which, which I did not exhaust here, but I just wanted to, you to see so that you can be able to know when I'm doing this, this is a sin. When I'm doing this, it's a sin. Hallelujah. So when we sin, people are like I said, people may not be able to do anything about it. But it is God who sees in the heart. Hallelujah. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Hallelujah. It's not something that you can be reprimanded, or it's not something that you can see the consequences today. Hallelujah. But each and every day that we live, we have to be careful the way we are talking. We have to be careful what we are thinking about. Hallelujah. What are you imagining in your mind? Hallelujah. Do you are you able to control your mind? Are you able to control your emotions? Amen. Amen. Are you able to control your anger? Hallelujah. We may justify, we may want to justify some other types of sins, saying maybe, no, it's something, what could I have done? Or if it, if it was you in my position, what could we have done? Hallelujah. But within sin, there is a line. If it's sin, it's a sin. If it's not sin, it's not a sin. There is no justification. We cannot justify a sin to say, no, but what could she, could she have done in this position? Hallelujah. May God help us to be able to listen to the Holy Spirit when he tells us, hallelujah, to say this one is not good, this one is wrong, hallelujah. When it comes to sin, you can see that there are some types of uh, sins where you become hardened. Your heart is not afraid anymore to keep on doing one thing. Because you have done it and you have seen there are no consequences. You have done it and you've seen no one has said anything. Then you become hardened. Hallelujah. I have seen people who have become so hardened in sin so that they, at the end of the day, they think, no, it's normal. Hallelujah. Some people, they have thought that it's very normal to be shouting. Hallelujah. When I'm confronted, I have to react. But it's not normal. Hallelujah. As a Christian, you must, the word of God says, you must be gentle. Hallelujah. Someone who carries the Holy Spirit in them must be able to control their anger. Must be able to control their emotions. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not become hardened in sin. When you see that it's something that I'm not able to overcome, you need to find help. You need to pray about it. Not to leave it just like that. Like I said, if you keep on containing sin and you keep on accommodating it, at the end of the day, you end up doing harm. Hallelujah. Amen. You can end up doing more harm than whatever. You, you have seen people who have killed, who have committed murder. When they were in the heat of the moment, they were not seeing wrong because what they wanted to justify their emotions. No, someone has uh, done me wrong. I have to revenge. And they take a gun and they shoot. After they shoot, that's when they go back to their senses. That's when they say to realize, no, but I have killed a person. I could have done better. I could have just left the house if I was angry. And then that's when they start to realize, to say, I have done wrong. And you cannot reverse. Amen. So never even accommodate sin. No matter how small it is, never accommodate sin. The Bible says, do not give room to the devil. Hallelujah. Never accommodate sin. Even if you think, no, I think uh, this one is not, it's not very bad. Do not accommodate it. Hallelujah. Never accommodate even laziness. Laziness is a kind of a sin. Amen. Not being able to do things when you are supposed to. Do not accommodate it. Because at the end of the day, you will end up not doing anything. And wanting to find people to blame. To say, I did not achieve this because of so and so. Hallelujah. Laziness is a type of a sin. Amen. Do not accommodate it. If you know that you are supposed to wake up and pray, wake up and pray. Hallelujah. If you know that you are supposed to wake up and study, wake up and do it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Amen. I'm not saying you must be perfect. 
it. Hallelujah. Look at the example of the tax collector in the Bible. He was uh, a person who used to rob people of their money. Hallelujah. Because that was the tax collectors in those days used to do. But when he went before God, when he went before Jesus, he confessed to say, I am struggling with this thing. I do not want it. This is how I am, but I do not want to be like this. Hallelujah. We all struggle with sin. But when we struggle with sin and we go before the Lord and we open our hearts and we confess, God will give us the strength to be able to overcome it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to read from the book of Matthew chapter 23. Uh, starting from verse 23, I'll read from here. There is um, examples when Jesus was talking to the Pharisees. The Pharisees, they knew the law. Some of them were teachers in the law. They, they, they would say they knew everything about the law of Moses. And they were telling themselves we are the people who really follow the law of Jesus. Hallelujah. So when Jesus was now reprimanding them because of what they were doing, I'm going to read from verse number 23. Um, these are the direct words of Jesus. Verse 23 says, Woe to you teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. Remember, these were the people who were considered in society to be the top of the people who knew um, God. Hallelujah. You give a tenth of spices, meat, dill, and cumin, but you have neglected the more important matters of the law, which are justice, mercy, and faithfulness. Hallelujah. So they would go before the people and show people that, no, we are paying tithe of everything, no matter the smallest thing that I have, we are paying tithe, so we are right with God. But Jesus was saying to them, he has neglected the more important matters, hallelujah, of justice, mercy, and faithfulness. Hallelujah. So they considered what they were, what they were doing to be good, and they were neglecting the big sins of unfaithfulness, of failure to show mercy and justice. Hallelujah. You should have practiced the latter without neglecting the former. You blind guides, you strain out a nut but swallow a candle. Woe to you teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. Like Pharisees, first clean the inside of the cup and dish, and then the outside will be clean. Hallelujah. Woe to you teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside they are full of bones of the dead and everything unclean. In the same way on the outside, you appear to people as being righteous, but on the inside you are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. Amen. Amen. Jesus was confronting the Pharisees and he was telling them of the wrongs that they were doing. To people, they appeared to be good. Hallelujah. They appeared to be good. Jesus was saying, how can you clean the outside of the cup when the inside is dead? Hallelujah. That's the same thing with sin. The sin is inside and no one can see it. So do not clean the outside. Hallelujah. Do not pretend to people to be good. Hallelujah. Do not portray yourself to people to be good when inside, you know, deep down inside you that everything is not well within you. Hallelujah. God was saying, clean the inside. Hallelujah. Clean the inside and the outside as well. Hallelujah. The Pharisees were, were, were told, you, were like, you are like white white tops. On top of them, they are white, they are decorated, there is flowers on them, but inside there is dead bodies. Hallelujah. Why would you want to look good before people? But when you know before God, you are not good. What reward is there? Hallelujah. I was looking at um, a series on TV about uh, Nicodemus. He was also part of the teachers of the law. And he was considered to be a, a knowledgeable person in the law. But when he met Jesus, and Jesus was telling him, you have to be born again of water and spirit so that you can enter the kingdom of heaven. Because he had the knowledge to say, if I follow every law of Moses to the dot, then I'll see the kingdom of God. But Jesus was saying to him, you need to be born again. You need to be dead to sin. Like I was saying the last week, but one, you need to be dead to sin. 
and to be alive in Christ so that you can see the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So it's something, we see this something which needs to be worked out from within, inside to outside. Hallelujah. Amen. From inside to outside. The word of God says God looks at the inside and not at the outside. Hallelujah. Amen. Our reward when it comes from God is because of what we are doing. Hallelujah. The Bible says whatever we say is a result of what is in our hearts and what is in our minds. So when you see yourself saying something bad about people, being able to, to tell people how to be able to tell people how bad someone is, is something that's how you are inside. Hallelujah. Whatever we say, as out of the out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So we can be able to see what kind of a person you are by how you speak or by what you say. Amen. Amen. So what you say is what defines your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. What you say is what defines your heart. Those things that you put on your statuses, shouting at people and saying bad things, is what defines your heart. That is what is inside you. Amen. Hallelujah. So the Bible is saying, clean the inside of the cup. Amen. Amen. And if the inside of the cup is clean, then God can be able to use you. Hallelujah. God can be able to, to use you. The Bible says the Holy Spirit does not dwell where there is sin. Amen. Amen. So if you want to be a house of the Holy Spirit, make sure that you confess your sins before God. Yes. Hallelujah. The Bible says we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. I'm not saying every day that we live, it must be a perfect day. But try by all means to please God. Amen. Try by all means to be sin free. Yes. Try by all means to work out your weaknesses. Amen. Some of the sins we have justified them to say, no, it's my weakness. It's my weakness. I've seen someone, if you go to an interview, they normally ask this question. What are your weaknesses? And what are your strengths? If you tell them five weaknesses and you tell them one strength, they won't give you the job. Why? It's because you have confessed already to say, you know, I fail in one, two, three, four, five. Why would they take you? Amen. If you tell them five weaknesses, they will say, no, this is not the right candidate. Why? Because you have told them yourself. And they cannot trust you to change. Amen. Amen. Work out those weaknesses. Work out those weaknesses. If it's a weakness of the mind, work it out. If it's a weakness of attitude, work it out. Hallelujah. Amen. If it's a weakness of laziness, work it out. If it's a weakness of just keep shouting, work it out. Hallelujah. Amen. If it's a weakness of jealousy, not wanting to see someone doing good, work it out. Amen. Amen. Appreciate the good that other people are doing so that God can be able to give you the strength to also do the same. Amen. Amen. If someone has received something good, it's because God has given them. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't ever think that someone, you are better, you are in a better position than someone because you don't know what's in their heart. And you don't know what God is planning with their lives. Amen. 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 When you see God has done something good to someone, celebrate with them. Amen. Never accommodate jealous. I know women, it's so easy to become jealous of one another. It's so easy to become jealous when you see someone wearing a nice dress and you say, no, how did they, how did she buy it? Where did she get it? And you, you start even to say, no, but it does, does not even fit him. No, it's, it, if it was just a pink color, not red, hallelujah. And you may have justified and you say, no, no, it's my weakness. Amen. Don't justify jealousy. Don't justify envy. Amen. Amen. When you see something good happening to someone, appreciate what God has done for them. Amen. Amen. So that God can be able also to do for you. When you see someone has done good, praise them. Amen. Not to ask, how did they do it? Amen. Someone comes and tells you, no, I got a job. No, how did she get it? No, there might be some way. How did she get it? Hallelujah. Amen. If you if you accommodate it, it ends up becoming something harmful. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you never had people who have ended up poisoning another person just because they don't want them to be in a position which they think they don't deserve. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Don't accommodate sin. Amen. If you see someone has done good, praise them. Just the same way as you would want to be praised if you do something good. You see, like us ladies, if you are walking the edge, you, you want someone to tell you, oh, you are looking nice. Everyone wants it. Why can't you do it to someone? Just so that they also feel good. Hallelujah. But as ladies, we are quick to judge. We are quick to, to say bad. To say the we are quick to see the negative. If everything on the hair is good, you say, no, but the head back. It's not mentioned in the <laughs> Hallelujah. We are quick to see the bad things. No matter how many good things she has done, you are quick to see the smallest thing. You say, but may God help us. Hallelujah. May God help us to have the right attitude. Have a right attitude towards other people. Amen. Have a right thinking towards other people. Not to always think something bad about people. Don't be quick to judge. Because sometimes the same thing you are judging a person about, you can be also doing it the next day. Amen. You can judge to say, but no, how can she leave a small child like this? The next day it can be you. Yes. Hallelujah. So don't be quick to judge. Sometimes being able to keep quiet is a strength. Amen. Amen. Being able to keep quiet, being slow to judge, is a strength. You might think, no, keeping quiet is a weakness, but sometimes it's a strength. Sometimes you will correct the things that you have said. And you never know that person you are judging. Maybe tomorrow you'll be the next person in your position to help you. And you don't know. Hallelujah. Never look down on another person. No matter how good you think you are, never look down upon someone. That is a sin of attitude. That attitude just to say, no, I am the best. Amen. Pride is a sin. Amen. It's a sin of action. Just being proud to say, no, I can do it better. No, I have the best. No, I am the, I am the good one. Hallelujah. Pride is a sin. The Bible says, Pride, with pride comes a huge fall. Amen. Amen. When you think you are high up there, when you think you are the best, hallelujah, from there when you fall, it's a hard fall. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let other people raise you, not yourself. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let other people tell you how good you are, not yourself. Amen. Amen. Do you know that the devil, Lucifer, he was once an angel, but what brought him down was pride. He thought he was the best singer. He thought he was the best worshiper. And he thought, no, maybe if I'm not there, God could not do without me. Amen. And when God saw his pride, amen. When God saw his pride, he put him down. The Bible says, humble yourself before the Lord. And he will lift you up. Let God lift you up. And not to lift up your, yourself. Hallelujah. May God help us. Amen. Have the right attitude. Have the right mindset. Amen. Amen. Have the right mindset to think that no, if she has failed today, tomorrow she can do better. Amen. Amen. If she has fallen today, tomorrow she can do better. Amen. Amen. Have this mindset to say, okay, but how can I help? How can I be of help? Not to celebrate at someone's downfall. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible is talking about the Pharisees and telling them, you are hypocrites. You are pretenders. Amen. Amen. But it's, there is no reward in pretending. Yes. There is no reward in pretending. The only reward comes from God. Only to a person who is real. Hallelujah. Yes. Be real with yourself. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Never pretend to be what you are not. Amen. Never pretend to be what you are not. If you see that I cannot do this, I'm not good at it, be open about it. Amen. Amen. Never lie and say, no, I can do it when you can't. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Admit where you are wrong. If someone tells you, no, but this thing is wrong, you have done wrong, admit it when you are wrong. Not to say, no, I cannot admit before him. What will people say? Hallelujah. Admit when you are wrong and work out your weaknesses. If you keep on your, your dead inside you, it will eat you up. Amen. Hallelujah. Better clean it out. Amen. Amen. 
better clean it out in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want us to um, I just want us to be able to go and take audit. Hallelujah. On your attitude. Amen. Amen. On your attitude. How do you behave with other people? Someone once said to me, if you do not have anything good to say about someone, rather keep quiet. Amen. 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 If you don't have anything good to say about a person and you want to comment something which is negative, rather just keep quiet. Amen. Amen. And keep silent. You are better that way than to say something bad. Hallelujah. Amen. You are better quiet than to say something which is bad. Amen. Amen. So, never accommodate sin. Don't give the devil a chance. Amen. When you see that you are about to sin, just tell yourself, no, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do this. Hallelujah. I'm not going to entertain the devil. Don't entertain the devil. Whether be it in your actions, whether be it in your thoughts, do not accommodate the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. I see that it's already 9 o'clock. I just want us to stand up and pray before the Lord. Hallelujah. Just ask the Holy Spirit for the strength to be able to overcome sin. Hallelujah. To have the right attitude. To have the right mindset. Amen. Whenever you have a right attitude and a right mindset, God sees it and He will bless you for that. Hallelujah. Let us go before the Lord and pray. Father, we thank you this morning because of your word. We thank you, God, because of your teaching. And we pray, Holy Spirit, that you can be able to teach us. You can be able to teach us to avoid sin. You can be able to teach us to run away from sin. Father, help me to be able to control my mind. Help me to be able to control my speech. Help me to be able to control my thoughts and my attitude. I am praying this morning, Holy Spirit, that even if I fail, but I must be able to rise up. I must be able to stand up. I must be able to confess my sins. Father, I know that if I come before you and confess my sins, Father, you are faithful enough to forgive. You are faithful enough to be able to give me the ability to stand up again and to continue. I am praying this morning, Holy Spirit, that you minister unto us. Give us ears that can hear when you are speaking to us. Give us the mindset to fear sin. Give us an attitude to fear to sin. Father, I am praying this morning, may our hearts be able to realize when we are about to sin. Father, I pray we are praying against the spirit of pride. I pray against envy. I pray against bitterness. I pray against the anger. Father, help us to be able to forgive whenever we are wronged. Help us, oh God, to keep silent when we are supposed to be silent. Father, help us to be able to control our emotions. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray against hatred. We pray against bitterness. We pray against revenge. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we are praying against the seed of omission. When we are supposed to do good, Father, enable us to do good. When we are supposed to give, we must be able to give. When we are supposed to pray, we must be able to pray. Father, help us to be able to overcome the seeds of intention. Help our minds, help our mindset to think whatever is pure, whatever is noble, and whatever is righteous. May it dominate our mindsets. I pray this morning, Holy Spirit, that throughout the week, you will protect us and you will guide us and bless us. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is where our services end. And we thank the Holy Spirit for his word.